is the other way <laughs> hi guys what's up welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are having an amazing day and doing really really well i'm back again with another german shepherd faq frequently asked questions that we get a lot on our dog videos i just want to also put out there that i don't normally sit in his bed with him um, and i've also taken his bed out from my bedroom to the living room to film this video so this is very not regular scheduling but for this video and for the next 10 to 15 minutes we're going to be sitting on his bed so before i begin i just want to mention that i am absolutely no way in any shape or form a german shepherd expert or a dog trainer in any way at all i have not attended any classes puppy classes german shepherd classes and he is my very first dog so with everything that i'm about to speak about in this video is literally and honestly just my opinions and my experiences with just him. These questions that we get asked quite often, I'm going to answer very bluntly and honestly and to my best of knowledge. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, let's get started. Let's begin with a really easy question. So, Arav has asked, hi Vanessa, can I know what's the age of Shadow? So, I normally have his age and breed information and all of that is weight in the description but he is four and a half years old yes his gray hairs are starting to show under his chin and he is definitely not a puppy anymore but he still acts like one love the vlogs keep it up and what also what are the dimensions of his wire crate okay so i do want to speak about this because his crate um that i have recently purchased is something very new in our life so up until the age of four and before he went on to he, his rehabilitation training um, he never had a crate i never bought a crate for him and we've never used one before so this is very new for us um, this is one of the best purchases i think i have made for him apart from obviously the training that he received but yeah so the the trainer um, that rehabilitated him recommended me to get him a crate and solely for the purpose of a few things actually so it's his little safe haven so a place that he feels safe and comfortable a place that is only his that we do not enter so it's a place where he can just relax and chill out and if it's getting too stressful for him if things are just you know if there's too much commotion in the house that's where he goes and he goes there a lot actually he loves his little crate his little home it's covered up with a blanket that you'll see and i've just made it as comfortable as i can for him so secondly it's also a place where we have taught the command place um, and that is just when i say it he just goes there straight away and he sits there until i let him out um, until i say another word that he's allowed to come out of <laughs> I guess something a little bit different when it comes to the crate is that it's not really a place that he sleeps in at night so at night he has this bed in our bedroom and he sleeps in our bedroom with us so just down by our bed which is really nice so the crate is situated in the living room and he honestly just likes to chill out there when we are you know watching the tv when we're cooking when we're just doing things that does not involve him he just sits there and he loves this little chew blanket that he's got um it's actually secretly a bath mat but he loves that and he just relaxes in there and it's a really good place for him to just ease his mind and not be on alert at all the time all right so moving on the next question is why was shadow wearing a muzzle in your other vlog so if you have noticed i have um started using a muzzle for him when we are outside in public just in places with um, people so if we are in a very very isolated place where i'm confidently where i can confidently know that there is absolutely no one around for miles then he is not a muzzle and the purpose of the muzzle is really to keep him safe and other people safe i don't want to dwell too much into this but i would recommend you go watch the rehabilitation video that i put out that kind of explains everything and why the muzzle kind of came about to keep it short he has had some accidents in the past and so to keep himself safe and other people safe we have now chosen to put a muzzle on which i am so happy about and something that i'm very proud of it's nothing to be embarrassed about at all but i've also noticed over time as i've owned him and as i've taken him out more and more obviously 
a lot of people, um, just normal public people, are actually very afraid of dogs, large dogs, um, or you know, German shepherds, and and I guess you know just to keep people at ease and to make the environment friendly and you know, no drama, um, the muzzle is really useful for that as well. So. 98% of the time when we are outside he is on a muzzle basically when there are people around that we do not know that are not familiar with him that you know we do not know if they're afraid of dogs or German shepherds or large dogs so yeah that answers hopefully that answers that question all right so I'm having a problem with dogs barking at night with no bark collar can you recommend okay so I'm assuming that question is basically there is a dog barking whether it's theirs or not um, and they don't own a bark collar, can you recommend something to do? Fortunately, I don't have that issue with Shadow. He doesn't bark constantly and consistently like a lot of other dogs do. Yes, he does bark, obviously, for certain reasons. So a good example is if there is a van outside and they've just slammed their door or if someone knocks on the front door he will bark so those are two really good reasons i want to say if there is a dog that is constantly barking consistently for no reason at all there's nothing triggering that dog then there is something deeper to look into for that i mean that sounds to me like there could be several things that you could do in my opinion um, that the dog is not getting enough exercise, love, attention, care, it's, its needs are not met and that is a reason that dogs bark. I mean if you think about it, a dog wouldn't be barking for no reason at all. Otherwise some other things that it could point to is lack of leadership, lack of confidence in the dog, so dogs that are very insecure or if that dog has been trained to bark at you know certain things and it just happens that those things keep coming up i don't know i'm gonna be honest this is not an area that i have um a lot of expertise in and i'm just trying to answer it with the experience that i have and again it's not to say that he doesn't bark he does obviously for certain reasons so we have worked out a way where if you know someone does knock on the door or if something triggers him and he barks we have worked out a way for him to stop instantly and that's me telling him that, hey, I'm in control now. I'm in control now. I've got it. Thank you for telling me. Cut it out. Okay, so another muzzle-related question. It's a long question comment, but is that a muzzle that the trainer advice should get? Those are short-term muzzles of vet or groomer visits, for example. A dog needs to be able to pant to regulate their inner temperature. My coworker, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I think this person is referring to this black muzzle, this um, fabric muzzle, not a basket muzzle that I use for shadow. And let me just clarify that it is a muzzle where he is able to pant. So he is able to open his mouth, I would say about halfway, a quarter to halfway. So he is able to pant. His tongue is actually able to come out of it, but he cannot bite someone with it on. So he can't actually be able to grab someone. So it's a really, really good in-between because I bought the size of the muzzle to be a tiny bit bigger than um, the size that was kind of recommended for a German Shepherd. Well, it was, it was between two sizes and I chose the larger one. There is even a larger one <laughs> than the one he currently uses, but he's able to open his mouth. He's actually able to drink water out of it, um, but he just cannot get, he just cannot do the action of biting someone or nipping someone through the fabric muzzle so it's something it's a muzzle that i really like that i prefer and it's also the muzzle that does not annoy him that he does not try to take off so we've tried a lot of other ones that he just keeps trying to take off that um hurts him annoys him whatever it may be that is uncomfortable for him and i know muzzles are not exactly comfortable in general to begin with but this one seems to be the one that he is the most comfortable with that does the job for us that also provides him to be able to pant and open his mouth slightly where his tongue is able to actually come out and he can drink water out of it but he cannot bite someone or hurt someone or you know things that we do not want to happen this is not to say that i will never change the muzzle type that i use for him but just for now for the first it's only been two three months that we have um initiated this full-time muzzle thing but just for now this is what's worked for us what's working for him thanks for being so honest and not covering up failures like most people what a great comeback could you do a video of what you wish you did from day one to help new owners 
absolutely that is definitely a video that is coming up that's been on my mind that I'm trying to plan for I've done a couple of videos in the past what I wish I learned before getting a German Shepherd what I wish I knew um, five things that I think you should know before getting a German Shepherd blah, blah blah all of those things I don't really feel that way anymore so my thoughts and opinions on in those videos are vastly different now after what I've been through in the past two years um, or year probably but yeah so it is definitely something that I am really looking forward to do and I want to take it very seriously which means I need to plan out my thoughts I need to make sure that what I'm saying is 100% what I'm feeling right now at the time I'm really really pleased um, with this comment about my honesty and you know my video about rehabilitating my dog what's happened the reasons for it and I guess yeah my failure in some things that I have chosen to do or not do in this case when it comes to shadow and that is my number one rule on this channel is all I provide and all I discuss is honesty I try to be as open as possible and I'm just really happy that that has come across and that it's appreciated by some of you guys another question regarding the muzzle I feel like this whole video sh should just be titled why my dog wears a muzzle but um, I've been watching your videos religiously because your German Shepherd is so well trained thank you I still don't think that is the case yet um, but I'm definitely trying and doing everything I can and I'm a dog I'm adopting mine really soon. I love the training tips you give my I ask why you put a muzzle on him when you go on walks. Looking forward to more contact from you. Um, yeah, okay, so I think, I feel like I've spoken on this before and I've brushed about, brushed, brushed about it? I've brushed on the topic of why he wears a muzzle. Honestly, at the end of the day, you just do not know what someone that you do not know is going to do or want to do. So you might have people coming up to you that want to pet your dog. Anything can happen and it is just a lot safer to have a muzzle on a German Shepherd in my opinion. Even a dog that has never shown any aggression towards anyone, I still believe it is a really good idea and I know a lot of people don't do it, which is fine, but for me and my situation and I guess what we've been through, the you know accident that he's had in the past, I'm just not taking any chances anymore and even with everything in place that the trainer has told me to do you know leadership boundaries structure all of that that we have um, started to do and are always doing constantly working on even with all of those in place I'm just not going to take another chance and it's, it's just not worth it yeah and I mean it's even a bonus that it's something that doesn't bother him it doesn't bother me it's an extra two seconds to put on a muzzle before we go out it's like a win-win situation I don't see any negatives with wearing a muzzle and at the end of the day German Shepherds are very uh, guard dogs they are bred to guard to protect last question before we finish this video off does Shadow still sleep with you or does he sleep in his crate now I guess I want to make this super clear that he's never actually slept with me on the bed before and I think a video where that is very confusing and misleading is our morning routine where first of all the thumbnail shows him sleeping with, on the bed with me and the beginning of the video shows him sleeping on the bed with me but those were done for entertainment purposes previously I did allow him on the bed after I wash so once a month he would be allowed on the bed um, you know for a quick 10-20 minutes if I was watching Netflix or something I'll get him to jump on but then he was very bored and he just jumped off after five minutes anyway but now with the whole change in our relationship and how I am training him he is not allowed on a single furniture in the house he's not allowed on the bed he's not allowed on anything that is furniture related I guess he sleeps in his crate if he wants to or he sleeps in this dog bed that is in our bedroom if he wants to he can sleep wherever he sometimes just sleeps on the carpet in our room um, just whatever is comfortable for him I don't have a set place where he must sleep but there's only a few places that he can sleep carpet bed crate just not any furniture and it, it kind of sucks I mean I, I wish I put a disclaimer up on those videos you know I honestly do not want anyone to assume that he sleeps with me on the bed or he sleeps on the sofa or anything like that because that is something that I am very against I think it is probably um, not one of the worst but something that is just not great 
to allow your dogs to do. It really blurs the boundary of leadership um, and <laughs> boundaries and structure. It really, I feel like, would confuse a dog if they are allowed at the same level as things that you do, if that makes sense. But yeah, okay, hopefully I've cleared that up. All right, so I feel like this video is getting way too long now, but I hope I have answered a lot of recurring questions that have popped up recently in my videos. I um, hope you guys enjoyed this and I will catch you in my next one. Bye. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an 